For those of you watching on YouTube, I also post my videos on these sites. I hope you'll come join me. Embrace the YouTube alternatives and all tech. Hello everyone, I'm Nathan, and welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Let's play. Okay, let's see. I think I might have uh, a Jezka, that's what they were called. Uh, pick it up, kill it, pet it, leave it alone. Uh, yeah, leave it alone. Okay, yeah, I think if I... I think I can... If I remember correctly, I used the Bantha fodder to get rid of them, but I don't know how I can use it. I, th I thought I could. Maybe I was wrong. Eh. Might as well talk to the crew while I'm here, kind of like I did in the old Mass Effect days. Okay. Zalbar. <laughs> something you want um yeah all right uh do you know anything about the planet on it uh what if you'd help me with a problem uh unless you want someone threatened or a door bashed in you should ask someone else uh can you make me a grenade you've got a bunch already you really don't want these things banging around together you sum up first i did Fucking Zalbar. Man, Wookie Friend's kind of a dick. <laughs> How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Uh, I wonder if we could talk. Um, what is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, tell me more about your past. Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating invigorating uh, I don't I know about Jedi talk talk to me about something else um, uh, yeah invigorating they were so very alive so full of hope and energy and zeal in the retrospect I can see it was a little bit tragic what do you mean those Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting. But to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. A Jedi are not gods. Uh, <laughs> damn straight, I do look like divine. <laughs> Uh, if that was the case, they, uh, they seem to be misrepresenting themselves. Uh, the Jedi are not gods. I know that. I was using poetic license. But those <laughs> Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. What happened? The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans hmm. were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, N64 or PS1. Um... Now, I didn't have a PS1, although I did play a few PS1. Like, I didn't actually really play very many PS1 games until I got my PS3, which was backwards compatible. Um, but no, I would definitely say N64. I, oh, that was my entry into the th realm of 3D, and it blew my mind. And uh, uh, I had so many Nintendo 64 games. I was a, I was a fool to ever get rid of them. Um... Uh, well, you can't really blame them. Uh, uh, all species are capable of intolerance. Um, uh, was it that bad? Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate out on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh, no. But 
But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. As long as you don't let, let your anger influence you. Um... Don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side. And I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for. But you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not... Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> we should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. Alright, cool. Um... Uh, okay, so anything I can do in here doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, maybe I'll talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? I haven't talked to him in a while. I want to continue the discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, don't you think you'd feel better if you, if you discussed it? Um, <laughs> yes, but I'm bored, so spit it out. Yeah, I'll go with that. Listen, sister, just because we're working together, it doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Um, do we have another problem now? Um. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? Uh, I'm frustrating? Look who's talking. What exactly is it about me that frustrates you? Oh, no. I'm not falling for that, that one. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. <laughs> really? It's hard to tell. Uh, and you say I'm frustrating to deal with. What? Me? What did I do? Well, that's rich. Hey, where have you been? I don't know. Typical male. I am not saying that. <laughs> um, oh, that's rich. Where have you been? Okay. I give up. You win. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. Uh, you say that name like I should know it. Uh, that name sounds familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Um, you don't think we... Uh, you didn't think we would betray the Republic? Um, uh, you didn't, you didn't think he would betray, oh, you didn't think he would betray the Republic. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians, even when things looked to be at their worst. I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. Oh, I remember shit. waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. So you blame yourself for trusting your friend? Uh, do you really believe that? Uh, and that's why you feel sorry for yourself. I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid, and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. So that's all of it, then? Uh, I'd do the same in your shoes. Um, um, yeah, that's terrible. I feel awful for you. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Dude, we're we're this far in. Just spill the beads. Spill the beads. Um, 
What's that? Um, uh, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Oh, Mortal Kombat. Hands down. Hands yeah. down, Mortal Kombat. Um, the... Um, there are certain there are certain charms that I I like in some Street Fighter games, but like mainly the old ones. Like holy fuck, the new the news the the newer ones are like oh god, it's just noise pollution. It's it's like between this between the the the, the high tempo music and and the constant chattering of the characters. Like ugh, it's ugh, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Um, and actually, I saw a trailer for a recent Street Fighter, and they have some kind of thing that looks very, very much like discount X-Ray combos, for sure. <laughs> um, let's see. I'd like to know more about you, Bastla. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Uh, tell me how you joined the Jedi, then. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans Oh, wait, did I do this as already? Girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Discouraged? Why? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst. But even love can lead to folly. You aren't you aren't allowed to love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Uh, who weren't you on good terms with? Uh... I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. Oh my god. Oh god. Um, what's that? Uh, um, <laughs> Ken says uh, the new Street Fighter uh, Six has gone with uh, uh, like a st a uh, street. Uh, wait, just like I got a little get a little bit closer for that one. Oh, oh, with a with a street rap theme, I couldn't be less excited. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's honestly like I just fucking hate rap music. I really do. I would easily take country over rap music. Oh, especially recently. Like, um, before I before I pick my dialogue here, um, yeah, I took my son to a playground uh, not that long ago, and uh, and there were some uh, teenagers there who had like their music playing while they were playing basketball. And, oh my god, it was... <laughs> I could say the foulest things for the excuse for music that they had playing. I was just like... I, I, I definitely made myself sound like an old man because I immediately turned to my life and I'm just... Because I said the line, I was just like, is that what the kids call fucking music nowadays? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just unpalatable shit. Ugh. Uh, I never I tried to... Uh, you never tried to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. It sounds very s sad when you say that. Um... Uh, but if Jedi were to love, surely that it it wouldn't be all bad. Well, yeah, and, and see, this is this is actually one of the big the the big failings of the Jedi, in my opinion. This idea that they have to be separate from 
everything precious like fa family and love. It's just like, no, I think actually the isolation is the thing that's more likely to turn you towards the dark side. Yeah, uh, because I'm sure that being separated from your family isn't going to cause you to be emotional at all. Good lord. Um, but if the Jedi were to love, surely I, it wouldn't be bad at all. It, it wouldn't be all bad. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. No. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. No. You are not... You are not finding a way to control yourself emotionally. You're, you're removing yourself from the situation. That's the opposite of dealing with it. Oh god. Um, yeah, no, I, th I think the Jedi fucked up. Oh yes, that's right. I was gonna talk to Mission before I go. Where the fuck is Mission? Mission! Where the fuck are you? You in here? Oh yes, you are. Okay. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to talk about you and your brother. Look. I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of job he's got for you, but I don't trust him. It's probably just another scam. So, is there anything else you need? Um, nothing. Never mind. Okay, have it your way. Uh, just a second. Oh, we got a big couple messages in there. Actually, I gotta save. I haven't saved in a little while. Uh Oh, oh, yes, I um I did hear about that uh, actually Ken. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a few pictures relating to that and uh yeah, it seemed um seemed a really disrespectful way to handle something so historical. I um Yeah, I thought that was Oh, I, yeah, I didn't, I thought that was pretty unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> I suppose it's not really unbelievable, but you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I thought that was extremely distasteful. Ugh. Okay, so we have a droid to buy. Let's go buy that HK. New team member. Let's see. Uh yeah, I'm not sure. I wonder if I wanna give give Basil a break or if I wanna give Juhani a break. Ugh, I miss I miss I just miss having a team with me, but oh yeah, actually, having HK on the team is going to be a bit of a problem because I can't heal him. I don't think I can anyway. Hunting Lodge, I don't think it's in there. I uh, know it wasn't the Zerka office. Uh, let me check the map. Hunting Lodge... Sweeping registration. No. Cantina! There it is. Okay. Okay. I have found where the cantina is. It's not here. That's swoop registration. Although I guess I'll have to check that out at some point. What's that? Uh, HK, is, HK is so awesome. Damn right he is. I'm going to go buy him. I'm going to go buy him right meow. Oh, I have just enough credits. I'm going to have 11 credits left after this. <laughs> Ask party members about planets and plots. They have valuable insights to offer. Do they, though? Do they, though? <laughs> oh, this looks different now. Am I in the wrong cantina? 
Oh, wait, I haven't been to the cantina yet. Oh, shit. Well, wait, where the fuck do I buy the HK? I thought that was at a fucking cantina. Strange, you are... You are of kind, but unlike them, too. So, thanks to Jawa under Izzy's, we will remember you are the ones that have gone. Oh! Gandroth. Gandroth? Well, now. Gandalf the Wise, Gandalf the Grey. talking to me. Usually it's some kid wondering what my old racing days were like. I was back on Taras. Seems like a long time. Who's kidding? Um, ask. Uh, I want to ask you a few questions if you have time. I'm not sure what I have that you would be interested in. I, I'm, 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 I'm just an old swoop jock that doesn't have the head for it anymore. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about uh, racing. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. The Gandroff is the name. Uh, is this uh, uh, the best place for racing? Best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. You get hung up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> My favorite stop was Taris. Uh, Taris. Uh, always look forward to going back. Now, now I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I <laughs> still race for sport, you know? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what made Taris any different than here? Ah. Matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole plan of being gone. <laughs> Poof, boom, <laughs> gone. Um, how long did you race? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. What's that? Um, oh, Ken says, Happy October, Nathan. Yes, it's October now. <laughs> yes, we've crossed over. Um, um, uh, who asked you? Why do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a has been, I'll admit. But, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, d die being the best racer? Fuck that. Fuck that. Um, is this the best uh, place for racing? Uh, uh, let's go over first questions. Um, uh, I have to leave. See ya. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. Well, they're... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Furco Nellis. Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? Oh, My Zach, name? no! I'm not playing your in... All right. I'm not playing your fucking video game card game. Not doing it! <laughs> I don't want it. Huh. Wait, wait a minute. Just before I leave, there has to be more point to this place. But, no, I actually don't think there is. Unless... Sith, Jedi, do either of them really care when normal people get caught in, in their fighting? Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that line seems much more insightful now that I'm older. <laughs> that was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you. For more videos and live streams, I do both of those on several different platforms. Links to that and more in the description. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.